I am so confused with how I feel about play date. This sounded really exciting and sounded like something that I would thoroughly enjoy. I really like Alicia Witt, so I was very much drawn to it, but the concept is also something that sounded really interesting. It's about a mother who moves to this little suburban area and she's suddenly thrown into this world of play dates and, you know, competitive mothers and, you know, the dog eat dog world of preschool. And I, based on the marketing, the poster for it, the bright colours, I thought it would be a comedy. I realised quite quickly that that was not going to be the case. But it's also not dramatic enough to be a thriller. And it's not really, it's not funny enough to be a dramedy or a comedy drama. It's kind of like they started writing it and decided halfway through that actually what was going to be quite a light-hearted film about the trials and tribulations of being a mother to a preschool child was actually going to be something more thrilling and dramatic. And the genre, it's not even genre bending. It's not like they're mixing the two together for something a bit more complex. It just is uncomfortable. But I was also curious to keep watching to see what actually happened. And that works in the film's favor. And I also don't know now who was who was in the wrong. Now, I can't explain that at the moment without giving spoilers, but I will explain what I mean. But at the end, I will elaborate on that with a spoiler warning. So, brief details. This was released in 2013, directed by Melanie Mehran, written by Melissa Samuels, and stars, of course, Alicia Witt as Grace, and Stephanie Lemelin as Amy. Great name choice. And... Basically, Grace moves in next door with her young daughter, who very quickly befriend Amy and her young child. But one day, Grace just starts blanking Amy. And Grace will not answer her calls. She will not let her daughter go around for a play date. This begins to infuriate Amy because she wants to know why. What has she done? You know, out of the kindness of her heart, she went out of her way to make sure that Grace was able to get the house next door to, you know, she helped her settle into this new neighbourhood. And now she's ignoring her. And Amy begins to become obsessed with this and wants to know why. And she becomes very clingy and needy. And I understand that. If somebody just starts ignoring you and blaming you for things, um, which I won't elaborate on, you can, you'll have to watch it to see what I mean about blaming. Uh you're going to want to find out why. Now, do I recommend that you watch it? Yes, for selfish reasons. I want to know if you think X person was in the wrong or why. And by X and Y, I do, of course, mean Amy and Grace. And there are a few spoiler things that I want to discuss. Um, but I will say in terms of directing, the casting, the acting, the music all of that ticked all of the right boxes where it lets itself down first of all is the writing i feel like it goes back and forth too much and gets a little bit repetitive and some things in this don't make sense um and sometimes you could argue it's because the character is being manipulative sometimes i feel like certain characters are just not being what's the word i want to look for i was going to say clever enough but I think they're just not acting in... Their actions are unrealistic. They're unbelievable. Spoilers, and I will explain this. So, should you watch it? Yes, please. Please do, because maybe I'm just being too nitpicky and reading too much into it. But on its own, I didn't enjoy the watching experience, but I kept wanting to watch it to find out what the outcome would be. And I know that doesn't make any sense. But hopefully when you watch it, you will understand exactly what I mean. It's a very, very confusing film. Spoilers. Who was in the wrong? Amy, for becoming obsessed to the point of insanity. Or Grace, for being manipulative, lying, completely out of control. Right up until the last minute, I was still thinking it's Grace. But then you could argue that Amy was making it all up or you know grace decided fine she let her sister into her life 
or to see her daughter. So she's going to blank Amy because she's annoyed and then Amy blew it out of proportion. But I don't read it as that at all. Grace lied by saying that the picture was of her sister, which implies to Amy that they have a close relationship. So when her sister comes knocking at the door, of course she's going to let her in. If Grace wasn't a liar, then this woman would never have got to see her daughter. And why can't she see her daughter? She's not her real mother. Um, I don't know if she's adopted her or if she just handed the baby over and they pretended that it's Grace. But either way, they must still have some kinship there because they still see each other. Obviously, she's just moved house. So this sister must have just recently been told where to find this child. So it's not like they've run away from her and tried to cancel all contact. So again, Grace is completely in the wrong. And the fact that Grace lied about those photo frames, they didn't go into enough detail about that. The seed was planted for Grace to be off her head, but it was never elaborated on. And I can see that that would frustrate Amy. Why do we as the viewer not get told more information about these things? Something else that bugged me, and there are two ways of looking at this. When this other doll was found allegedly behind a stack of papers, and Grace says to Amy, um, such and such sends her apologies, whoever it was that accused her, at no point did Grace admit that she was the one who had framed Amy and said that Amy had taken the doll. She says, such and such sends her apologies, not I apologise for accusing you. On the one hand, is that a plot hole? Have they overlooked the way that that initially panned out? Or is this Grace distancing herself from any level of responsibility? And then, with Grace's husband killing himself, first of all, the sexual favour did not need to be done at all. It served no purpose whatsoever in developing the narrative or developing the characters, and therefore is just an irrelevant piece put in to try and shock us. And that's very bad writing. If it doesn't, if it doesn't serve as a narrative for the characters, it's just fantastical and doesn't need, shouldn't be there. The fact that he killed himself, um, yeah, I kind of get that. The fact that she was the last, Amy was the last person seen with him. That was her opportunity to tell the police everything, and she didn't really have that chance. And I feel like that could have changed so much. And also the fact that he killed himself, he should have left a note. I feel like when he knows that she is manipulating Amy and ruining her life, he should have said something. Um, unless, unless you are team did not kill himself, even though we saw him about to do it anyway. Maybe you think that Grace gave him extra medication? I don't believe that. But there are a lot of problems with this, a lot of plot holes, a lot of questions that go unanswered to which we really needed answers. Grace as a character is not very well written, she is too all over the place. And not in the way that makes it understanding that she's mentally manipulative, but in a way that means her actions don't make a lot of sense even for somebody who would be manipulative. There are just so many things wrong with this film. And yet I was compelled to keep watching to see what the outcome was. I also feel like the outcome was pretty appalling. Um, there are a lot of very serious issues here, such as when Amy went into the mental institute, or maybe it was just a clinic. I'm not sure how secure the facility was. Um, but when she went in there, there was no mention of how she missed her own daughter, about how Grace's manipulation separated her family none of this and that makes me think it was meant to be a comedy so therefore not really looking at the serious issues or the serious um knock-on effects and then they decided to change it halfway through didn't have time to put the serious slant on it too much and it's just a chaotic mess and i don't know why i care so much i don't know why i'm so frustrated i think because it's a really fascinating subject that could have been explored really brilliantly and I, as i said alicia wait i really like her role so i was looking forward to it I haven't seen stephanie lamellon in anything else um but i loved her performance they could have done so much more with this and it just feels like a cop-out that was written in a weekend and never revisited and unfortunately it just seems like a slap in the face in the face to any other film that tries to tackle this and does it well please watch it because i want to know how you feel don't expect to like it.